thank y'all for coming to the monthly update meeting. I appreciate everybody being here this morning. I know it's early and we're going to do this. We're going to get through this real quick. Okay. <clears throat> I know y'all noticed we got a couple biscuits here and orange juices. Oh shit. Biscuits. Boss man. I really, man, I appreciate you. Shut the fuck up. There's not enough for everybody. I'm sorry, we couldn't afford all y'all. So if everybody except for the delivery drivers could grab something to eat, we'll be we'll be we'll be on our way here. Dang. <laughs> hey, I'll let y'all get a bite of mine if you want it. I mean, I, you know, I'll get, maybe if I got any leftover. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Drivers, y'all stop by gas stations and things like that throughout the day, and these warehouse guys don't get to, so We'll feed them and y'all can just stop and get y'all a biscuit on your next run here. Hold on. It sure is a nice break room, boss man. Yeah, you noticed the new the new break room. Yeah, we've we've I'm glad you guys like it. This is our first meeting in the man. new break room. Look right there. We got two air conditioners in here. Yeah. Plush seating. So y'all can relate. This is a this is a haven. This is reclining seating. On, on the side over there for when you're done eating and you still got some time left, you can kick back and, you know, watch some YouTube or whatever you guys look at. I really appreciate you. Got vending machines over there. There's even a fool's ball table over there for y'all. This is a premium break room and I want y'all to enjoy every single second of it, which leads me into today's topic. Diesel. Delivery drivers. We need to cut some expenses here. Um, idling is no longer permitted in the in the company truck so that's cold in the past y'all been stopping for lunch and idling your trucks and eating in the trucks we, we no more of that y'all can come back here clock out and use this fancy break so we, room. okay so we didn't have a biscuit because we can't stop anymore we can't idle but you said we can grab something when we leave How, how does that make? How, how does that make sense? Explain that. So to you me. mean to tell me the truck drivers don't get to eat on the clock anymore? <laughs> there are new vehicle monitoring systems plugged in your trucks. Did that over the weekend. Y'all didn't even see okay. it. It's hidden. What these monitoring systems do Damn. is it put, you put in your destination. When you put in your destination into the day into GPS. The truck knows when you get there, and after you stop at your destination, you've got two minutes of idling in the truck shutting the off. The vehicle shuts off after two minutes when we reach destination. I know y'all like to leave your trucks idling with the air conditioner running in the summer while you're unloading, and I get it. Nobody wants to get back in a hot vehicle, but we've got to cut expenses around here, guys, okay? That's the only way I can put that. Every single decision we make is we are avoiding layoffs. We're avoiding loss of pay. Okay. And this is how we do it. Sucks for you. <laughs> Delivery drivers, y'all, please work with us on that. And uh, pre-trips. Let's talk pre-trips real quick. We really appreciate it. If you could start doing pre-trips before you clock in. Pre-trip off the clock. You're not driving. When you're doing pre-trips, right? You're not you're not driving. And that's what you get paid to do is drive. So Why are we always getting fucked? If you don't mind, as soon as you get here, do your pre-trips, kick your tires and all that good stuff, and then go clock in. So but pre-trips part of my job. Everybody else, we appreciate y'all. Y'all doing a great job. Drivers always get fucked. Enjoy this break room. So you spent $25,000 on a break room for these warehouse guys, and we can't even idle and eat Wendy's fast food in the truck let's have a good week so the savings in diesel is what's paying for the break rooms that that's i got all right i got you 